everybody. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to read and write whole numbers. Uh, before I begin, I just want to mention one thing really quick here. Whenever you're writing any number between, um, like, let's say 20 to 99, and the number doesn't have a zero in the end, so all the numbers in between this that don't end with a zero, you have to write a, what's called a hyphen in between the numbers. So let's say you have the number, let's say, 23. The way you'd write it is, you'd write 20, you'd write 3, but you have to separate these two with what's called a hyphen, which is just a little dash in between them. But let's say you had the number 20. See, 20 ends with a zero. There's no need to write any hyphens. You just write 20, like that. If you had the number 36, you would write 30. You would write the 6. And then you have to put that hyphen in between. you got to do it. So in the first part of this lesson, we're going to learn how to convert a number into words. For example, let's say we had this number. The first thing I want you to do is underline each place value. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to write the name of the place value. Ones, tens, and hundreds, or just hund. And then what you're going to do is you're going to circle from left to right each place value and you're going to read it the way it's supposed to be read, the, the, the value of the number included. So this would say 400, so you'd write 400. No shortcuts here, don't write hund over here. You can write hund here, but don't write it here. And then the next part, you're going to circle this and you're going to read the value of it. So what's the value of eight tens? It's 80. So you'll write 80. Spelling counts, guys. Make sure you learn how to spell these numbers. And then you circle the last part over here. Five ones are just worth five. But remember to put the dash in between, the hyphen. So that's how you would do the first part. Let's do another example. So here we have four examples. We're going to tackle them the same way. We're going to underline each place value. We'll write ones, tens, hundreds. And we'll do that on all of them. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I can do magic. Bam! Oh, that's so cool. Okay, watch now. We're going to go left to right. We're going to write 300. 300. And then two tens are worth 20. So we'll write 20. And then six ones are worth six. And then you put the hyphen in between. So 326. Next question. We have, again, here, let's change colors. Let's do green this time. So here we have the first part, which is 500, 500. Spelling counts, remember, zero tens. Hey, what am I going to write for zero tens? What are zero tens worth? They're worth nothing, so I'm not going to write anything. I'm going to skip this part. And then I'll go to the last part, which is seven ones. And how much are seven ones worth? Seven. And then we write a hyphen here, right? No, wrong. You don't put a hyphen here. Remember, you only put a hyphen between the numbers 20 and, I guess, 99. 507, there's no need for putting this in. If you would have done this, this is wrong. Don't put it there. So let's get rid of that. So this just reads 507. In the next question, we have 900. So we'll write 900. 100. We have 8 tens. How much are 8 tens worth? 80. So we'll write 80. And then zero ones, how much are they worth? They're worth nothing. So you're going to write nothing here, OK? Not bad, eh? How about the last one? We have eight tens, which is 80. Right? Eight tens are 80. Remember, eight skinny tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Yeah, that's all it is. And then zero ones, how much are zero ones worth? Nothing. And that's why we just write 80. Isn't that pretty cool? Like, look at this. You, you write a number like this, it's 80. Do you ever think about why? Well, because we just have eight tens and zero ones. So we have just eight tens are worth 80. If you wrote the number 20, I, I think you get the point. In this part of the lesson, we're going to learn how to convert words into numbers. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to make your place values. So you're going to write your ones, your tens, and your hundreds and label them. Don't take any shortcuts. It's, it's important to do this one step at a time. So you've labeled your place values. And now you're going to read the number carefully, left to right again. So we're going to see 200. So we have to put the number 2 somewhere in a spot over here. So we're going to say 200. The only one that'll work is right here, right? 200. 
right? No, this is wrong. Don't ever do this. Don't ever, ever do this. Remember, there's only one number that goes in the place value. So what you want to do instead is you just want to write the number 2 in here. And that just says 200 because it's in the 100 spot. And then you're going to look at the number 60. And you're going to box that number 60 and you're going to figure out that it's going to have to go over here, right? No, not there. Don't do it there because this is six ones. Six ones are worth six. We need 60. So the only logical place to put it is over here because six tens make 60. And then just one. Where do we put one? Well, over here. So you have 261, 261. Looking at the next number, you have 448. So again, we'll do ones, tens, here we go. ones, tens, hundreds. And then you're going to underline this. You can say 400. So it goes over here. 40. Where does 40 go? It goes here. Four tens is 40. And then eight. How do you make eight? You just put it over here. So you got 448. Next question, 701. This one's a little bit trickier, but I know you guys won't get tricked. You'll, you'll know how to do this. Ones, tens, hundreds. You're going to underline this, 700, and you're going to know to put it there. And then, like, you see the number one. So where do we put the one? Over here? Not really, because if you put it over here, it's going to say one tens, and one tens is worth just 10. Then that means this would have said 710, but it doesn't. It says 701. So this would be wrong. Okay, this is wrong. So let's fix it up. 701, that's what 1 is, 1, 1. So what do you put in the tens? Nothing. 701, or, or 701, 701. And the last question, 210. Again, another, oh, I guess, moderately tricky question. You get 1s, 10s, 100s, 1s, 10s, 100s, and you underline the 200. So you put a 2 in the 100 spot. And then it says 10. How do you make 10? Well, you just, that's 10, right? So you just need 110. You put 110. How many ones do we need? There's no indication of any ones involved here. So we put a zero. Now look at this. You get 210, right? One and zero makes 10. So you got 210. Grade threes, I got four questions for you coming up. Here's the first two. So you're going to read the question. It says, draw the base 10 blocks. That's what you're going to do first. And then, then, write in number form. So I'm going to give you a few moments. Try this on your own. We'll come back and check the answer. All right, we're back. So the first thing you should have done is drew the base 10 blocks. And it says, first of all, 400. So you're going to draw 400s. One, two, three, four. There, that's 400. And then you're going to draw 60. How do you make 60? You're going to do six tens. And here's the third, here's the fourth, here's the fifth. Oh no, it's going slanted. I don't know why it's going slanted. And then we got three. So you have one, two, three. Then write in number form. So this says, let's see here, we have place values. So we have 400, so we'll put a four in the hundred spot. We have six tens, so we'll put a six in the ten spot, and then we have three ones, so we'll put a three in the one spot. And the next question, you should have done this. You should have read 200, so you should have drew two hundreds. One, two. And then you should have read ten, and that's just one of these. That's ten. And then when you wrote it out, ones, here, ones, tens, hundreds, you should have put a two in the hundred spot, you should have put a 1, see there's only one of them, in the tens because it's a 10. And there's no baby 1, so you just write a 0 there. There's nothing available, so this is 210. Let's try the next two. So again, in these two questions, you're going to draw the base 10 blocks, and then you're going to convert it into numbers. So go ahead, take a few moments. This one's a little bit tricky. Uh, both of them are, so take your time with it, and we'll come back in a few moments. Okay, we're back. So for the first question... Hey, where'd that come from? Get out of here. All right. So for the first question, you should have done, hey, let's go to white. You should have drawn 300. So you should have one, two, three. And then 18. This is the tricky one. How do you make 18? Well, you need a 10 first. And once you get to 10, you have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So you got 18 here. Now, when you write it out, you have your ones, tens, hundreds, and you would have put three in the hundred spot. We have three of the hundreds. You have one of the tens, and you had eight of the ones. And if you look at this, it says 300, 
18. So it's 318. And the next question, 408. Okay, don't get fooled by this. 400, step at a time. So you have 400s. You should have done one, two, three, four hundreds. And then you have eight. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Would it have been right to go like this? One, two, three, four, five. Of course not, because this is going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 if you were to continue it. And 80 is not the same as eight. This is eight. And if you were to continue this, you would have got what is this here? Three, six, seven. You would have got 80, and 80 is not what it says. So this would have been wrong. Don't do this ever. Stop right here. You have 408. Put your place values. You have your ones. You have your tens. You have your hundreds. You have 400. So we'll put four here because we have four of them. And then you have no tens. There's no tens. See? Do you see any? I don't. So we'll put zero tens. And then you have eight baby ones. We'll put a baby ones here. So you have 408. And on the last page over here, this is the final practice page, go ahead, take a few moments, take your time with these, and write the following in word form. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, we're back. So 216 should have been done like this. You should have recognized that these are ones. You have tens. You got hundreds. So we have two hundreds. Okay, go left to right. Go left to right. Two hundreds means two hundred. Sixteen. You just well, you have one ten and you have six ones, right? What does one ten and six ones makes? It makes sixteen. So you're gonna write two hundred sixteen. And the next one you have. You have your, your ones, your tens, your hundreds. So we have 300. We have 300. We have four tens. How much are four tens worth? They're worth 40. How much are seven ones worth? They're worth seven. Oh, don't forget the last part here. What's, what's missing in this question? What's missing in this whole thing? Right here, 47. And then in the next one here, again, go left to right, you have two hundreds, or just two hundred. Nine. Two hundred, nine, like that. No tens, so we don't write anything. And the last one, 290. That's, oops, I, I kind of blurted the answer. You have two, you have two hundreds. Two hundred. You have nine tens. What are nine tens worth? Nine tens are worth ninety. So ninety. And then zero ones are just not worth nothing. So you just you don't write anything. So two hundred ninety and that's done. Great job everybody. This was lesson three. Keep working hard and I'll see you in the next lesson.